What's up OGs? Welcome back to OG Fitness. My name is Hong Nguyen and in this channel of course we were all about fitness and martial arts for the older guys. A smart, sustainable and functional approach so you could you know do fitness and martial arts for for you know until the day you die. All right so in this video I want to talk about will the real iron palm stand up? Yeah so this video here okay is a second a second video I make about Iron Palm. Now Iron Palm is uh, comes from I guess Shaolin. I'm not sure. And I made a a video and it's still somewhere. It, it's still there. Like I didn't I didn't take it off even though I did get some uh, some um, what do you call it negative feedback. You know some some kickback. You know from about because I was like kind of talking shit about it. I was saying how essentially it was bullshit and blah blah blah. I didn't believe in it and stuff like that. So then. Throughout, uh, uh, after that video, there was a lot of people who I talked to into the comments and you know, we went back and forth about it. And so I'm convinced that, here's the thing, this is something I learned from one of the guys in the community. Um, I forgot their name, but you know, anyways. I had this discussion with a couple of guys, right, in the community and here's what I came up with, okay? Well, I mean, not that I came up with, but this is, they, they opened up my, my eyes to, you know, Iron Palm. So now, one of the community members told me that Iron Palm, listen, it's, it's a gross exaggeration, like the word itself, you know, because Chinese people usually to like to have very fancy wording for stuff, right? So, you know, that would explain uh, crouching tiger, hidden dragon, you know, it's like all these fancy things. And, and maybe it's easier to remember that way, I don't know. But they tend to be very flowery, flowery, uh, you know, very fancy with how they name things, right? But sometimes if you take it literally, then you might misunderstand uh, what it's about. So one of the community members told me, you know, well, that's, that's one thing he explained to me. And also another thing is that Iron Palm, there's a lot of misunderstanding uh, around Iron Palm. So Iron Palm, from what I gather, is about developing of course, yes, conditioning to a certain extent your hands, right? But it's really about toughing, t uh, conditioning your mind too. So training your mind so that when you punch, you know, like you can, boom, you can focus that, 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 that power, that energy, right? Into that, that one uh, spot. And of course, uh, mental toughness because, you know, you can't be like, you can't hit a surface and then be like, oh, it hurts and then like stop fighting, right? You still have to fight through it. So Iron Palm is about... It's as much about strengthening your mind and your spirit, okay, as, uh, as much as it is about strengthening your, your, your hand. Now, the thing with strengthening your hand is that I think that people might take it overboard and think that it just means turning your, your hands into, uh, into like a brick, you know? So building so much callus and, 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 and uh, uh, bones and calcification that, you know, it becomes really hard and stuff like that. So there's that. And there's also uh, somebody else who, who in the community mentioned that, well, the thing is when you do iron palm, it has to be done very progressively. So let's say as soon as you feel um, a slight discomfort, that's when it's pretty much you got to stop. You got to let it heal. And of course, there's medicine, Chinese medicine that you could put. Di uh, dat jiao, I think that's how you pronounce it. And I've used that before a long, long time ago when I was trying to condition my shins, you know. Um, and I stopped because at one point I realized that mm, I didn't really trust that, that master anymore, so to speak, you know. So I didn't, you know, I just dropped that. But anyways, so you have to use medicine, right, to let it heal up. And then when it heals up, then you start again. So it's progressive and I think it's something that takes years. Now, for guys who practice, but I still believe that, that uh, like one of the communi community members said, is that if you take this too far, then of course, like, you know, there's going to be, um, it might not be the, 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 uh, the best idea because it might, Iron Palm maybe was never like supposed to go there as far as, uh, you know, punching bricks and, and breaking, you know, and having it so conditioned and stuff like that, because after all it is bone and okay. If you, over time you, you calcify it and stuff like that, that's one thing, but you know, you, you still want to be, have your hands functional and um, arthritis is a big thing. Now, a lot of the people who showed me 
uh, videos of them, posted some videos of them, like, you know, punching bags and punching bags with rocks and stuff like that. I mean, th like, sometimes I think that w when you're young, you can get away with a lot of stuff, right? You can get a, your body heals and, and stuff like that. It's when you get older. And then, of course, uh, one of the community members actually posted a video of some somebody who looked, who seemed like an older guy who was also, like, you know, hitting bricks and stuff like that and, and you know, seemed like he had a very conditioned uh, hands and stuff like that. But... So anyways, if I'm wrong, there's guys in the community here, uh, Docino Plain, Dr. J, uh, you're a doctor, so maybe you could jump in and, and put in the comments like what you think. Somebody mentioned Wolf's Law too, and, and you know, but then I read Wolf's Law, and from what I read, it didn't really make sense to me, and it kind of contradicted what the person who, who stated Wolf's Law to me, um, you know, he was trying to prove a point, but, it, you know, it didn't actually, I think it actually uh, contradicted him more than it contradicted me. If that makes any sense. But anyways, so any other, any doctors in the community, like put it down below. What do you think? I still believe that, you know, like conditioning your hands, yeah, to getting them, getting them stronger, tough, you know, getting all the, uh, the muscles in it and stuff like that. But I think if you go overboard with it, okay, you're, you might be causing damage further down the, down the line. Now, another thing I want to bring up too is that, well, listen, man, like we, Okay, you condition your hands so that it's, it's, it's strong, right? Which is good, which is good. But if you go overboard with it, you have to think to yourself, when you're hitting a brick, okay? When you're smashing a brick, that brick, like, I, like usually what it is is that people are putting it on the floor or on like a, a, uh, a platform, right? And then they're smashing down on it, like, like at or like this, or, you know, they're smashing down like that. Okay, or they're like chopping it and stuff, or you know, it's 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 there and it, bang, they're punching it, right? But what was I trying to say? You know, there's something that Bruce Lee said, and he said in one of his movies in Enter the Dragon, boards don't hit back. Okay. Also, in, in that regards, bricks don't hit back. And also, one thing I would add to that is that bricks don't move, whereas humans do, right? You, you see what I mean there? So, like, if, I, if, if I'm standing there and you punch me, I'll, I'll, I'll lean back. It's not, unless, of course, I'm up against the wall and you, boom, you iron palm me right here and you smash my skull, right? Or if I'm diving into it, then, you know, it's going to hurt, right? People have gotten their skulls uh, crushed that way um, but a lot of the times people move all right so what I'm saying is is it really practical to to practice iron palm like it takes years years to, to get your hands to that level right like maybe 10 years at minimum day in and day out of practice and stuff like that so I'm just I just want to put this out there that I might I don't think it's it's um, what's the word I'm looking for here the best use of your time I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying that it can't be the only thing you're doing. And I'm sure guys who practice Iron Palm, it's not the only thing that they're doing. But yeah, man. So Iron Palm to me, I don't think that it's, uh, it's bullshit like I do before. But I think it's probably misunderstood and misrepresented in, you know, in a lot of cases. So... Strengthening your hands, yes, I believe it, but how to do it right, I don't know, man. You know, I really don't know. I haven't, uh, you know, I had a lot of comments where people were telling me I don't know what I'm talking about and that I shouldn't talk about something I don't know about, but that's fucking bullshit. This is my channel. I talk whatever, I, I could talk about whatever the fuck I want to talk about, for one. Second, like, you know, throwing out comments like that is fine, but you're, if you're not elaborating, if you're not, you know, like adding in, um, how do you say it? Uh, you know, proof, and you're not proving what you're talking about, you know, and also, that's just my opinion on it, like, I believe in hand conditioning, I believe in getting your hands strong, you know, because, you know, like, to, of course, if you're, if you're, if you're in a street fight, and you're punching, then sure, like, you know, you don't want to, like, punch uh, for the first time without gloves, and then have your hand break on you, right, but how much time, do your hands, do you, can you get your hands to develop to that point? 
And what can you do instead, you know? Like maybe it's not about, about uh, conditioning the bones as much, it is, as much as it is about conditioning the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, and the wrist. And of course, you know, like maybe punching with like the, the first two knuckles here that are bigger and then making contact at the right spots, which is like the jaw here, uh, sorry, the, the chin, right here. Uh, obviously, if you, the temple, you know, so I think it's more about conditioning all the muscles and the ligaments and the tendons surrounding your fists, your fingers, and your wrists. And I think it's less about actually conditioning the bone and making the bones calcify. So let me know what you guys think down below. Am I right? Am I wrong? Are you against or, uh, or for iron palm training? And what is iron palm training to you? Is it really about, you know, being able to smash bricks? Or is it what, like I mentioned, like one of the community members said, which I think makes more sense, is about, you know, toughening, like, yes, conditioning your, your hands, you know, your fists and your wrists and everything, but also, you know, the mental aspect of it, okay? So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that like comment subscribe and of course share the video sharing is caring helps me grow and that's it i'll see you guys in the next one thank you very much peace